Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming back at you with another follow-up video. This is a follow-up to my Spanish infantry uh, from Warlord Games, the new uh, Warlord resin. Uh, the, we've I've got both of the units painted, and I wanted to kind of show you what they look like after uh, they were put together and painted. Actually, there wasn't any putting together be except for the standard because the uh, they're one-piece models. All right, so let me just tell you a little bit about the, the bases, right? I'm putting them on... Um, I put them on Litco Arrow 40 millimeter, uh, 3 millimeter thick plywood bases and uh they're they're probably the best bases on the market i mean in my opinion uh because like when you mount your figures to the base use a uh, white glue and it seeps into the wood so you get a good grip okay so uh and flock too so uh yeah this base weighs virtually nothing this is not a it actually, in my opinion, weighs less than a plastic model. Uh, this this is the Warlord resin, and it I don't know how much that thing would weigh. And I picked up a whole unit, and I felt like it weighs the whole unit weighs less than one metal miniature. So that's that's pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick some of these up and give you a close up view of what they look like uh, painted. I painted these up as the 18th regiment. Uh, they are they're green uh, green cuffs and um, lapels. Uh, the turnbacks and the collars remained white. So that was that was that was a very odd for me to to paint the turnback the same color as the jacket. <laughs> so I definitely had to apply a wash to these, and I'll show you, to make those turnbacks stand out. Uh, I did wind up using the flags that were included with the, uh, with the set, uh, these, these photorealistic flags. I did wind up using them. Uh, what I had done was I put a, piece of tin foil in between the layers of the flag to give it a little bit more stability as I coated it with Elmer's and let it dry. Now I did uh, clear coat these and I've also used tufts that actually the tufts are still drying but let's go ahead and take a look at some of these. This is the first battalion you can see here, let's kind of slide this one a little bit off to the side just so you can kind of see. The 1st Battalion uh, has Grenadiers in the battalion and Fusiliers. They say 50%, so you would think there would be 12 Grenadiers, but there's not. Uh, there's only... Uh, 10 so I had so what I did was I made three bases with grenadiers and that uh, is 50% of the unit uh, but a couple of these bases had fusiliers in them as well so that's there, there probably should be two more grenadiers in my opinion in the packaging to make it 50% uh, and that's the first battalion. Now let's take a let's take a look. Uh, we'll just go down the line one base at a time, and I'll kind of kind of do this pretty quickly so you can kind of see. Let me focus. Okay, that should get you a pretty good focus. There's you know the straps, the green. Tell me what you think. I think these came out came out really well uh, they were easy they were easy to paint but uh, painting two units at once took me like three days to paint all 48 models
Okay, now this is the command stand, so I'm going to give you a little. We've got the drum. This is, yeah. <laughs> kind of look at the standard. That standard had a uh, Elmer's coating, but it also has a, uh, a tester's dull coat sprayed on it as well. So to get rid of any of that shine. And then you can also see the little tufts that I put on there. Uh, this would be an 1808 uniform, in my understanding. Uh, if you go into the 1812s, then they started to wear like blue jackets. So I was gonna I was gonna get some more Spanish and do a variety of different units with them. Okay, so that and that is the first battalion, which is uh, the battalion that has the grenadiers as part of the battalion. And these are all uh, based and mounted for black powder. Okay, and these will all, these units that I'm showing you right now will also go on my eBay store. So if you're interested. In purchasing these you can and uh, that'll just give me an opportunity to get some more Spanish and paint them up with different uniforms and things like that okay so here is let me back up a little and here is the second or third battalion uh, since most of their regiments fielded two battalions I'm just calling this the second battalion uh, it has a different flag it has the uh what is that the scintilla or the yep the scintilla the other one's the coronella and that is the second battalion and you can see they've all got their bicorns okay let's close in on these and take a look at them pretty much the same almost exactly the same paint uh, other than the fact that the Grenadiers had short swords and bear skins. Uh, but the, the paint scheme is all pretty much the same. I love that uh, about half of the models have really thick mustaches. Uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of, not all of them, but about half of them had these mustaches. I thought was pretty cool. And again, you know, with the white... Uh, turnbacks. I used a uh, Army Painter uh, light wash uh, with a, a washing mixing medium to split it. So it's like a 50% wash, one part medium, one part wash, because I didn't want to destroy the white. Uh, it just gives it a little bit of a, a slight dirty color. Uh, some of these models I did go back over like this like this uh, officer I did go back over his uniform with some off-white to kind of get rid of some of the wa uh, wash stains uh, yeah and you can see like especially on the standard how uh, that wash really brings out the fact that of the turn coat uh, and the, the turn backs. Um, I'm not trying to show off my painting technique or skill. What I'm trying to show off is the uh, what the models look like with paint on them. Uh, some of you might be asking, what color primer did I use? Well, actually, I used a white primer because I figured with the majority of the uniform being white, uh, a white primer would be best. Plus, it'll allow the, the green to really stand out. Uh, later, I considered uh, that it might have been better to do a black wash. Uh, a black, I'm sorry, a black uh, base coat. Um but I'm struggling with that. I think maybe white was was actually the best color to prime with. All right, so what'd you guys think of that? Yeah, so these are the Spanish uh, 
Warlord Resin from Warlord Games. Uh, first Battalion, Second Battalion. So in the comments, tell me what you think about this, uh, these models and tell me if uh, you like the Warlord Resin, if you don't like the Warlord Resin. Oh, uh, let, me, let me back up and say this, uh, this thing. When I went to clean the, the models, right? Because you got to um, trim off any of the extra flash or the burrs. You got to uh, get rid of the mold lines, things like that. And so I went through with my X-Acto and it took me, uh, I'm going to say maybe 10 minutes to do all these models, all 48, because uh, the majority of them didn't have anything to trim off. And the ones that did have something to trim off, it cut off because this, the Warlord resin is very soft. So I could just cut it off you know, with the blade, just trim it off, and it came off like with ease. This is a sharp knife. One downside, uh, I think it's this commander, that red plume right there just had a little burr on the top, and when I went to trim that burr off, the whole plume popped off. Uh, so I just applied a little bit of super glue on there glued it on and now there should be no problem uh this is something else uh when i went to go paint these models or actually rephrase that when i put these models on their bases uh and when i go to pick them up when i when i pick my models up i i try to grab multiple figures if i can't get to the base itself like I'll try to pick up a model like this uh, to get a to get a grip before I you know before I go to the base or what have you, but these models are are flexible as you probably already know. See that? Look at that. And so at, when I was grabbing them, I felt like I was uh, busting them off of their base, or I didn't allow it to dry long enough, or I was, I was panicking, uh, but. I really kind of came to the conclusion that because these models are a little flexible that uh, you have a little bit of wiggle on these models and uh, if you were to drop them or uh, you know if they were to fall on the floor they they're not gonna break they're just gonna bounce all right guys well thanks for coming out and watching this video about the uh, Spanish uh, this is the this was the follow-up video to kind of just show you what the paint looks like after they get painted and uh, I'll catch you in the next video